So right now we're walking into the Cheesecake Factory. It is Kathleen's birthday today, her real birthday. It's actually today, the third. And Colleen's birthday is on Friday? No, next Friday, the 12th. So we're celebrating both of them. I got some cards with lottery tickets. So hopefully they win big money. Oh. It is our birthday. We're going <laughs> to so sing from the cheesecake on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. From the cheesecake. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I'm birthday. Oh, sorry, Lee. Thank you. This is amazing. Good. Mm. So, Kath mm. and Kyle are scratching off their tickets. <laughs> we need some birthday luck. <laughs> First one, nothing. Sorry. Yeah. Are you sure you want these? One dollar. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Another dollar. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so, like, I think you my penny and it's so pissed. I'm like, Another dollar. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 I keep scratching the winning numbers and then scratching underneath it. They keep saying one dollar. Yeah, you keep hoping to see like more. Yeah, it's like a hundred. Four oh. bucks right there, baby. Ugh. Sorry, Colleen. Sucks the song. It does suck the song. All right, what are your numbers? Kath's counting up her winnings. Three, four, five, six. Come on. Six bucks. Not bad. It just kind of makes me feel bad, like I got you like a six dollar gift or something. <laughs> it could have been a lot more. Yes, yeah, so look at the trolley. Sorry, Kyle. I mean, in this one alone, I could have gotten one plus one. Yeah, plus we know. <laughs> Ten thousand. Yes, please. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome. Thank you, Leah. You're welcome. Lunch. Yeah, thanks. That was awesome surprise. The October birthdays. Woo. I'm supposed to have my Skype interview in an hour, and I can't talk because I just had. A tooth fill, and I feel like I don't know how to move my mouth. <laughs> the, wait, which side is numb? The the that side. Side. it's like permanently smiling or something. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it gets better. Are you sure you didn't have a stroke? I hope I didn't. <laughs> if I did, can I have the day off from work tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> My mom is also supposed to have an interview with the Let's Ask America people. And now her mom is half of its dumb and she's talking like this. So my mom is getting ready for her Let's Ask America first interview. Yeah, baby. I hope my mouth works for it. Say something. It still looks kind of stroke like, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Kathleen Colleen said that if we were, because they told me they were on, or did they tell you something about a mother daughter episode? I told you that. Oh, okay. Kathleen Colleen said, like, that would be so great if we were on that. I know. That would they, I went through this whole, I've been telling Kathleen about this for like four days. She thought that I was like going to work for the show because I kept saying like interview and blah, blah, blah. She's like, so do you have to move? I'm like, no, I'm just. From home. Trying to be on the game I'm show. Like, I'm not trying. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, these are college grads. Lace in. Older than hell. Smelly farts. Stinky butt. Her lace. She is so camera shy. If you put a camera in front of her face, she turns away. Mouth is sort of crazy. So, <laughs> normally it's not crazy. My, my daughter asked me if I had a stroke. I didn't. Oh, no. no, I know what you mean when you're like half your mouth is numb. Right. So that's it. My friend had to go to words like that, like make a presentation or something. And it was like, and she was like drooling.
drooling outside her mouth. So, yeah. Hopefully it will be better. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. I teach health and phys ed. Okay. At a high school. Nice. Are you, do you teach at a high school? Yes, school? high school. Okay. Mm -hmm. In a ring suburb, about a half hour from our house. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Um, I like the relationships I make with kids. Um, we connect, and so... I, we would go to recess. We would right, run, and it's like, fun. Have flag, you know, right. all this stuff. It's like kids nowadays just want to sit and text. Exactly, so. exactly. It's really a, a sign of the times, and it's unfortunate, really, in that respect. Um, so... Let's ask America. Have you seen the show? Have I have. It? I watch it pretty frequently, like three or four times a week, probably. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, it's what did you fun. like about it? I like that um, it's like normal American people, like regular people. It doesn't seem like a lot of times game show contestants seem like they're handpicked, like certain, you know. And I'm, I know that you're handpicking game show contestants too, but oh, it's it's more of like a, a regular Joe, you know. It's like somebody could be my neighbor. Yeah. So it, that's what I, I like that about it. I like that it's from home. You don't have to have like the high pressure of being in a studio somewhere, you know, with all the lights and all that. So I know it would probably be um, a little bit nervous kind of thing going into it, but I think I could do it. I think it'd be fun. I think I think I would really like doing it. It's on my bucket list. I told you that in my um, email that. I want to be on a game show before I die, and I'm running out of time. <laughs> well, I hope not that much time. But <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say. I hope I'm not running out that fast. But Hello. So I'm just leaving my mom's house, and after her interview is over, um, they're going to put her through to the next round of interviews. So she's going to have, like, her individual interview tomorrow at, like, 3.30. And then they want us to do like a mother-daughter interview because they might do like a mother-daughter show, which would be awesome because my mom's a freaking nut and so am I. So we could get to be on the show together, which would be so cool. So I have to go back home again tomorrow. And so because of that, I'm actually going to go work at the restaurant again, even though last week was supposed to be last week. I'm going to go one more time because <laughs> I just need some money. Um, in the meantime, I have to go to the Apple store real quick because... This piece that plugs into the charger to my laptop, basically this is what I plug into the wall to charge my computer, just broke. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of shoved it back in there, but it's not really happening. So I'm going to stop at the Apple store and see if it's expensive to replace. Hopefully it's not. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. In other news, can we all just look at the sunset right now? It's like freaking me out, like it's the apocalypse or something. I posted two pictures on Instagram. One, before it was like real orangey and still looked kind of freaky. And like now, I mean, my camera isn't even picking out, like picking up the outrageousness of this. It looks like the Lion King or something. So freaky. Anyway, yes, crazy sunset. Probably going to take some more pics.